a couple of these jigs, maybe just one or two of them. Won't need that, will need that. We're gonna get sorted here. There's one. I'll just put that one in. You know what? I'll have plenty of time to do this kind of thing. I've got three or four already made up. I've got plenty of time to do this kind of thing when I get there. But I don't have a lot of time to get the car and all this stuff into it ready plus the kayak back there into it so maybe we'll just put these all in here make a little packet we can do some stuff there put a few more in and we'll just get moving like this do this later right. nice we've got double layer mattress <laughs> the crappy mattress on the bottom yeah, we might as well make it as comfortable as possible. There is a gap here in the seats and the double layer actually stops you from feeling it at all. So, that'll be the bed. And then we can load the other side up with all the goods. Okay. Just sort this back out. So, we're just getting prepped up. We're doing a bit of a solo sort of, a bit of a car slash camping trip. It's going to be a solo mission to an island called uh, North Stradbroke Island. Not as isolated as we're used to uh, on some of the trips, but this trip is going to start off with a bit of uh, solo camping and uh, fishing, but it's going to end up in one of the bigger fishing comps for, for me of the year. So we're going to go up for a couple of days, suss it out, see if we can get a nice fish and have a couple of cook-ups, but then we'll end up in the comp over the last two days and um, there'll be lots of guys out uh, fishing so it'll be fun and a bit of a social event it's always a pretty social event this one by the time we get to the comp i've booked a um like a camper van site because they didn't have any they only had like non-powered tent sites and i thought it's better if i just sleep in the car then anyway everything's set up and i can move around freely so that's what we're going to do but the first couple of nights i'm just winging it i don't know what i'm going to do all i know is i want to go and get a fish a pre-fish in i want to make a couple of nice meals and uh yeah, so I'm going to use a doona this time because um, it's nice to sleep on cotton because the cars get so hot in any case that it's much nicer to have a nice cotton sheet to sleep on or under. So we'll go to a proper doona and a proper pillow. And remember I hid, just in this side one here, I hid these which are the uh, mesh that goes over the back windows so I can have the windows open at night and not sweat it up too much. So we might put those on in a second. Gives you a little bit of privacy as well. I might just chuck this up here and back the car out. Look at how we're gonna get the kayak on. Oh, that door needs to be shut, doesn't it? Otherwise we're gonna have big problems. <laughs> up on the roof get as many rays as we can while we can there we go probably should get a permanent panel just to attach it on this side of the racks sort of on the underside so you can still use the racks but then just have this running the whole time but we're doing it on the cheap for now <laughs> but at the moment I'm very happy we've got a we've got a car fridge We've got a little battery that should keep it running. This battery I've tested it, it runs for um, maybe two days uh, before the fridge dies. So we've got to keep topping it up obviously, but that panel tops the battery up faster than the fridge drains it. So as long as we got at least semi sun, even in, in the shade, it still is enough to sort of keep the fridge running without any worries. Not the perfect setup, I guess uh, for a long term, but just for short term like this and knowing that I'm gonna be near maybe power points and things like that, it's not going to be too much of an issue, but 
yeah like bigger battery but this is just what i had i actually got this originally to try and use the computer on these trips away to the islands but that sort of didn't work because the computer like compared to the fridge the computer sucks juice like no one's business it's out of control so yeah it just should be good for the fridge should be able to run it no problems this trip typically you do get big fish so i want to be able to store the fish i get and bring it home for the family and not waste any that way i can keep some fish for the comp keep some fish for me for the first couple of days and we'll be sitting pretty with a stack of fish <laughs> in theory as long as we actually catch some and then once i'm going on the drive i'll switch over to this plug here and then we'll switch back i'm guessing we got just about everything get the camera gear in it's not all camera gear it's a lot of chargers and camera gear and, and uh pans and things like that it's the standard kind of kit except i've chucked a few more charges in because we're going to need a different kind of power and charge for this trip might as well get these on now <laughs> if you know if you haven't noticed <laughs> my uh truck camping experience is pretty much a very low budget experience <laughs> none of it's the fancy kind of gear that everyone else uses everyone has like proper drawers proper everything i'm literally just winging it but that allows me to wind the windows down to about here without the bugs getting in at night so i can have some airflow the most ideal thing would be actually to have a net that just goes straight over here probably should have rigged that up before and then you can have this whole back section open even in the wet because this uh actually gives you some cover like a little bit of an awning the roof but we don't have that this time you know what if the bugs aren't too bad we'll just have it open anyway but sometimes they are really bad so yeah we'll see how it works a couple of extra things just an extra door of some sort extra squid jig I'd like to get some squid that might be the first thing i might not be able to get out in the water tonight but i might be able to catch a squid which is uh which would be high on the priority list looking very homely what do i need yeah mosquito net there that'd be really good i just don't think i've got anything that i could drape over oh it'd be good though wouldn't it i'll put some thought into that but i guess we better get the uh kayak on the roof and uh start thinking about getting to the ferry because we've got to get a ferry basically drive the whole car onto the ferry and get across on a big barge oh. oops okay. get this battery on so i usually just put the battery in here get the connections which is actually a waterproof connection anyway and the battery is sealed but it's like to play it safe just make everything last as long as it possibly can as well the battery in here why it goes around like that okay the gaff we we'll need that here and then conveniently enough my little tackle box which has most of the stuff I'll need actually fits in there and holds it all in place nicely so we'll chuck our hat in there we'll get three rods in here and I might take one more just for squidding and mucking around on the beach there's great spangled emperor and snapper there so I'm definitely be hoping to get something on that and then just a live bait rod and then my main livey rod which is over here as well no, they're all in the same spot it's because of that last trip I did on the uh, live stream <laughs> it's all set up ready to rock okay anywhere maybe just a little tighter i'll leave the paddle on the roof in my travels because it it tucks under here and uh we've gone you know plenty fast 110 no problems and it stays there i've never had an issue so yeah i guess we better get it on the roof uh, heavy stuff eh Oh, hear the lights. <laughs> Here we go. Let me put the lock rack arms on. Cool. Put the fishing rods on top of there. Yeah. 
<laughs> Would you be able to stay in here? Yeah. It's pretty comfy, Probably. isn't it? Yeah, I'll shut this. Probably. <laughs> there. Should I just keep you in here and stay yeah. away? Yeah, do you want to come with? Yeah. <laughs> just got on the highway, but we might just grab some uh, petrol now. That way we don't have to worry about it. It's diesel 139. Diesel temporarily out of order. That is not handy for me. <laughs> it looks like they're all done. They must be out. All right, we're we'll getting petrol somewhere else. Bama. Okay, we finally got petrol somewhere. <laughs> Make the ferry quick. <laughs> We've got time, but not heaps of time. Eleven. No, no sweat. Thirteen. Okay. <laughs> cool. We'll do. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. We're down thirteen. Yeah, this place is always pretty good for the comp, just simply because. There'll probably be about 80 or 90 people going and uh, it's a good group of guys so it's very social but it's also like the kind of ground because you've got to get the barge over and very few people fish it regularly it's sort of untouched ground where no one can sort of be so familiar with it that they know exactly what they're doing can smash it out so there's no real local knowledge most of the guys have done it a fair few times now but there's still always that element of um you never know what you're going to get and also the um the grounds because it's Normally the comps run slightly earlier in the year where it's sort of peak mackerel season but this time because of COVID it got cancelled last year and this year they had to sort of push it back a little bit further before they knew exactly what was going to happen. Just going to follow you down. I went you out on the right hand side. Yep. Uh, where that car's going on the left hand lane. I'm just going to follow you down just to make sure. I'm pretty sure you're right. But it's a tube fit under. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Geez, <laughs> I tell you what, it's hard to see through this window, but it is a cracking day. But the wind is amazingly down. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you hear that crack of the uh, kayak scraping on the roof, we didn't get it, thank God. <laughs> Just the lock racks stick up quite a bit, and because it's a pretty tall car to begin with. You always just got to be careful. You forget that it's uh, you forget that you got a kayak on the roof sometimes, which could be an issue. And that needs to be attached to here. Yeah, sticky. Okay, where are we gonna put it? I guess we can put it here, can't we? Does that look about right? We don't want it too hard on because of the ones that might come off. They've given me zones to the camp. Not sure. It's really they don't. I'm not allowed to drive on uh, any of these. That's weird how they've got the numbers that way, but the map goes that way. You'd think that they would. But anyway, um, all right. But I guess they'd never be running backwards, wouldn't they? 
Well, let's have a think. I can get into only these two because the backtracks in between uh, 10 and 11 are closed, which means I can't really get any further down. Or I could get into 8, but that's a bit of a bummer because I can't go on the beach for another hour and a half because of uh, the high tide. So there's no driving on the, the beach for a while. So we'll have to make the call. I guess we could go and maybe check out 12 and 11. And then we can go and check out 8. But that's about all we can do. For now. Tell you what, it's not a bad spot. There is a few people dotted up and down. But I tell you what, it doesn't get much more beachfront than that. It's actually quite nice here. I could definitely wake up in the morning here. Maybe go for a fish, it's not too far down. Probably might take you, you can see some people there on the beach enjoying it. But all the way down at the point there, probably don't need to go as far as that though maybe halfway down there and there'd definitely be some good fishing grounds. Okay. Back on the tarmac. Might just uh, flick her out of sand mode. Not that we really needed it. Cool. Let's head to the shops and the other campsite, see if we can suss it out a little bit. See, there's the access track. Not sure if you can see through that window, but it's, yeah. It's got a little uh, bit of tape across it. So there's no way to get through that tape, unfortunately. It's just impossible. <laughs> yeah, like I definitely down here would be the better spot to camp because it's closer to where I want to launch the kayak in the morning but there's no reason why I can't just drive down and launch close in the morning I guess well yeah we'll go get some food from the uh, shop maybe we'll come back for a squid fish and then maybe we'll just pull up at one of those campsites tonight and then uh, we'll think about getting down on the beach at the very low tide and we can get up to some of those other campsites and find a really good spot to just hang out for a couple of days Ditch the bread. All right, we got the goods. Quickly chuck some of this stuff in. Probably gonna open it. Just put everything in. And then all the stuff can stay warm. Nothing else needs to go in. So we're looking pretty good, pretty stacked. It's not a survival mission, it's a luxury mission.
is it's definitely nice enough. Here yeah, well, we have a flick. I think I looked on uh, Google Maps and it looks a little bit better a bit further around but we might just start casting and check out this sunset at the same time. It's definitely a school of bait there getting smashed. So there's no reason why there can't be activity. Squid like bait fish. So where can we go? Down a little lower. I've got a feeling it might not be too deep here so just one big tiger squid will be plenty for me tonight. <laughs> so we only need one. They're usually typically pretty big here. So we'll have a couple of casts. I think there might be a little bit of weed here that we're kind of, that we're sort of drifting over, which is good. Hopefully we can find something. <laughs> Just uh, mucking around just on that corner there, but there's something moving a big bait of school of bait here, and they're coming in real fast and hot. And uh, uh, it's kind of hard to resist, so I'm going to take this off and I'm going to put that lure that I had on there back on, and we'll see if we can get some love on something a bit more exciting. It's probably a bad idea in regards of dinner. But it could be a good idea for a bit of fun. Let's see if we can hook up to something. Ah, if I don't hook my own hand first. Ah. <laughs> yeah, well done. But if this doesn't work, I think I might just go find a campsite, have a couple of beers and just chill out and uh, just eat some, yeah, something simple. I won't worry too much about a big fish cook-up. Tomorrow will be the big fish cook-up day. Okay. Surely that's got to be worth something. Ooh. I don't know what that was, but... Whoa. What is that? Whatever it is, coming in hot. get it back out there oh what is that <laughs> whatever they are they're pretty big couldn't be the dolphins could it I wonder if they're coming in really fast and just scooping up the bait Well, it may not be uh, very fishy for me right now, but uh, there is one hell of a sunset, that's for sure. I guess we should just head back and uh, just find a spot to sleep, cook up a simple dinner, I won't bother showing you, and we'll pick it up in the morning. Hopefully we'll get out on the kayak and um, do a little fish around some good grounds, hopefully get a mackerel. And then we'll have a big lunch cook up and then we'll hit the comp all right i'll see you in the morning well that looks nice enough just there and the sun's coming up Ugh. i guess we might be turning that light on or that light Okay, let's uh, jump out of the car then. Oh, it almost looks nice enough. <laughs> On the weather report, I just checked the weather report then and it says it's blowing quite windy. 
but this looks very doable. It says 16 to 20 Ks already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's a little bit better. It makes sense. More people could fit in then. Didn't notice that last night. So I camped in basically a little parking lot near the beach in the end because uh, what happened is uh, I went to register to camp on that further campsite that I checked out yesterday and by the time I'd went to register it was too late and they'd closed and you need special tags and I thought oh no I'm gonna have like a run-in with the ranger in the morning and I guess there's always a risk that the ranger could turn up or he might not turn up but I thought you know what rather than do the drive out I might as well just stay here because this is actually closer to where I want to be. I was hoping, fingers crossed, that the surf would uh, come down a bit, which it has. Because when I checked it out last night, it was uh, pretty rough and it was hard to really tell because it was so dark. But it looks very, very, very calm now. So I guess we should get our asses into gear and get out there. The ocean's looking very inviting, very inviting. Probably should have put a camera there, shouldn't I? I do have an older GoPro that could have gone there. Whatever. It's just a recon mission and a breakfast mission. Oh, it's been raining in here. Might be a bit of water in here. There's me hat. It's soaked. Okay. So, just keep the keys dry. It's important. Okay, camera's on, I guess we go. Let's do it, let's do it. get out into the zone and then we'll have to put a bit more effort in but oh there's a proper splashdown camera's still with me <laughs> okay you kind of want to wait here until this little bit of wave edge goes and then we'll wait for the lull this is Probably the biggest it's been since I've been here. <laughs> it's not big, but there's no need to brave it when we can just wait. Right about here is sort of where I want to be waiting, but it seems to be a bit all over the shop and unpredictable, so it'd be nice if that breaks soon. <laughs> Start getting the rods out. We've got one out, which was the live bait rog. Rog. I've kind of decided, as much as I don't like live baiting in general when it comes to hurting animals, I definitely think that um, I like the idea of not buying bait off a trawler. Because, uh, yeah, a lot of bait gets taken. You know, I'd sort of rather be responsible for my own dirty work as, as it may be. <laughs> And um, yeah, it's just a bit more self-sufficient. Let's put the lucky hat on. It's a bit wet, yuck. 
little drip dry. Oh, sounder. I don't want that. Helps in finding the liveys. Man, there is lots of good ground here. I'm excited. It's been a long time since I fished Adder. Let's get out there. That sun is powering already. Wind seems down, seems very nice. I think we're getting a lot of protection. Ideally, what I want to try and do is edit a video tomorrow because tomorrow is meant to be pretty wood. Well, later today and tomorrow is meant to be pretty crappy weather. So, and then the next day is the comp, the start of the comp. So, I'm hoping to edit this film for this Saturday and then the comp will be on when you're watching this. Maybe. <laughs> okay, that looks promising. So let's just drop down on that. See what we get. Nothing. Let's try on this side. Maybe they're slightly over here. Look at that though. Well, we had a, uh, a yakker on then for a second, but he got off. <laughs> so we'll quickly have we can grab another one of them. My one yakker. Come on. Okay, we got something now. Ooh. Please be a yakker. Oh, it's a couple. Okay, three. I'll take them. I will take them. I'll take all three. Please don't tangle too much. It's always a. Risky manoeuvre, putting them all in like that. Just got to keep a little tension on. And then we should be alright. Okay, one. Okay, so far so good. Chill, 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 chill. I guess I can't blame you for not chilling. Because it's not, it's not ideal for you. Okay, now this one is... Down the mouth a bit. Okay, it came out. <laughs> okay, let's do one more drop. Let's make some bank some liveys. Oh, that's a top bait, slimy mackerel. Oh wow. Let's get him in quick. If we can get a couple of them, look at that bait. I'm not even gonna muck around. Let's just get him in. It's the yakas I'm happy to let go at the end of the day if we don't get take if they don't get taken. But the slimies can become troll baits. And we put them on. We've got the troll cam actually rigged up. Maybe we'll take four rods on comp day. So as crazy as it sounds, we won't put that um, slimy on now. I might keep him and put the yakas on. In fact, let's get a yak on now. Look at that. There's a knot in my leader. I just ran my finger down and I saw it. Oh, let's get that out. <laughs> There's a fish loser right there. I don't know if you can see that. Glad I saw that. Okay, just once through like that. And we're away. Make sure it goes all the way through that. Okay, we've got something. And now he's realizing he's spooked. He wasn't putting up much of a fight for a second there. Weird. <laughs> what have we got a trigger fish or something? Ah, wow. Big leather jacket or a big trigger fish. You know what? These are actually delicious as well. Uh, like a football, mate. Look at that. Look at that fish. What a legend. All right, mate. We'll let you go. You are. You would be good eating, actually. But I've had leather jacket in Sydney recently, so I'll give you a break. Come on, don't ruin my hook. There we go. Okay. Come on, bro. What a cool fish, huh? Come on. Go and let the air out. There he goes. <laughs> He's uh, a bit bloated from the dip depth. Look at that clean bite. Look, he's bent my hook a little bit. But, uh, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> it's something, I guess. <laughs> 
wasn't expecting a trigger, but that's cool. Look, you can see him going down. It took him a second to get going, but he is going now. Right, let's drop our bait down again because there's a nice mark there. It's fun fishing when you see this kind of thing happening. Oh, someone's got, someone's got it there. Oh, let's load it up. <laughs> okay, something you, I was about to say, look, you can see just before it disappears, there's fish coming up to meet the bait. Put this camera back on. Oh, okay. Let's see what we got this time. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun when you can see him on the sounder. Oh, he doesn't seem as big as I'd hoped all of a sudden. He's coming in very quickly. But you can see those, yeah, snapper. It's only a little guy. But you can see them coming in. He's obviously coming up to meet the bait. They're obviously feeding up high in the column. And they're actively searching. How's that for a great fish, huh? What a good looking snapper. See ya, buddy. Straight back down. So the bait still works. We'll keep going on that. Ah, oh, hello, mate. <laughs> Nearly had a go. Go on, he's gonna give me the pricks in a sec, isn't he? Ooh, he's a good looking guy. Check him out. Beauty. Oh. Oh. Cool looking little guy. Oh, see ya. He had a couple of goes at that. And I gave it a little jig and got him, but uh yeah, he's a bit small. Keep going with this bait. Still seems fine. Along with his live is he still there? Yeah, he is. He's hiding out somehow down the bottom. The wind has dropped right off, so while we've got the opportunity, we'll go a bit further out. That's a better one. We got him good then as well. On the drop, someone took a swipe and then and then another swipe. Oh. Oh, he's definitely got a bit more weight than everything else today. In fact, I'm not really making any ground on him. <laughs> Let's tire him out just a little bit. There we go. We're making a little bit of ground in him now. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> then again. Okay, he's woken up now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so this is only a 4,500 reel. So we've got plenty of drag, but... What I've got it spooled up with, I think this is 30 pound actually, maybe 20. So I don't want to go too crazy hard on him. Look, he's made all that line back. I'm gonna get a little line back. We'll go a little bit harder. I don't want to lose this fish though, so let's, let's take it easy. Jeez, he woke up then though, didn't he? <laughs> As soon as he realised he was coming up a bit too quick. Okay, we're getting lined back again. We're back to the green. Let's see if we can get another big run out of him. It's going to be a big snapper. Oh, he's coming up fast now. We've got him in 10 metres already. Now we loosen up just a little bit. What's it gonna be? Spangled snapper. Ooh, it's a nice spangled emperor. Look at that. Oh my god, it's a good one as well. Jeez. Oh, off he goes again. I think we're gonna be keeping him. We can get him in. Oh, that's a great fish. Wow, look at that. Seems like a semi-decent hook set. We might just slide him in. Whoa. What a great fish. Woo! Okay. That is breakfast and dinner served right there. 
and then maybe even some to take for the next day or two that's a quality fish and just the way it all went down was ideal as well you know like on the drop a little bit of a take anyway we'll do this quickly and then we'll talk more wow what a beautiful fish okay but what are we going to do we've got uh breakfast and probably dinner there no problems and even maybe the next day so what should we do here <laughs> okay well i was just drifting over uh it kind of rises up here from about 30 meters to 15. i thought you know what there's plenty of marks there might as well just drop it down and it literally took seconds i didn't even have a camera on <laughs> i didn't expect it to be so quick let's see what we get here I've got colour already because it's shallow. What did we get? A little snapper. Hey, buddy. Look at that. Beautiful snap. Panny. Not big, but good eating size. But we won't be keeping you because we've got enough. Uh, we've got enough. Let's just go. Okay, we got you. Look at that guy. Oh, see you, mate. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh well, that was fun. Look, you can see him fluff around for a sec. Or maybe that's not him. Uh, we're down to 12% battery on here as well, so we better preserve this. Okay, unfortunately, the other camera's died. I'm not sure if this is going to pick it up, but uh, we'll give it a shot. Okay, just coming over that other, that same part of the reef, just over that 15 meter mark with the livey. And it's gone off just where it drops off to some deeper water so it'll be interesting to see what this turns out to be definitely had a good first run though <laughs> proper run so probably a mackerel of some sort but we'll find out Got some pulling power. Maybe a slight bounce in the rod now. Oops, going back. Now it's starting to feel a lot like a tuna. Got some big head shakes and bouncy rod. And it seems to be going into the circle work pattern. This is where it gets hard. I think we've got a long tail. That's ideal, he's gone. Just popped off with one little tug. It was only just at the tip of his lip, so. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Anyway, we'll head in now. Yeah, I think we're gonna boycott the uh, artificial reef. Just come in on the inside of Shag. And let's just check out this radar, cause you can feel that breeze has ch changed significantly. It's now blowing still southwest but it's definitely switched a little bit let's have a look no i don't want to watch that ad let's have a look at the radar Ooh, yeah so it's on its way so if we zoom in here 
don't know if you'll be able to see that. But uh, yeah, there's a significant storm on its way in. So yeah, it's definitely time to hightail it in. Hopefully I can find a camp before it starts raining as well. I'd like to do something with this fish Ugh, for breakfast, brunch, breakfast. But yeah, it's definitely time to get off the water, I'd say. Still a little while before the storm hits, but that's proper rain and proper storm. If it's anything like last night's storm, it'll probably be coupled with a bit of crazy lightning. And uh, yeah, I don't want to be here for that. Ah, let's get on one of these little ones. <laughs> nice free ride. All the way in, come on. So we're gonna have to walk over the sandbar. <laughs> Paddle the rest of the way. Come on, spin it. So a bit of editing to be done, and then a uh, bit of cooking, and then just hiding from the rain, I think. Anyway, right, we'll get it done. So we'll head in this way. It'll be nice, I think this is gonna be the most protected sort of spot. And uh, should be quite nice to do the cook up and then we can just chill and relax. I want to get that Spangled Emperor cut up and into the fridge as well. And very close. Whoop. I reckon that's about my limit. <laughs> yep, yeah, and it's starting to rain even heavier. It's no good. New cheap stove. <laughs> Back here, so get some splatter. Right. Should be alright. Getting a bit ahead of myself though, because I need I need to get the fish filleted first. Got my little bait fish. I kept him. That's the slimy that I'm planning on trolling around if the weather clears up. Well, that was just the worst glad rat rip ever. Let's try that again. Oh, got the parrots, the lorikeets. Okay. Oh, my glad wrap. Don't you hate it when the glad wrap doesn't play ball? He's playing too much ball, maybe. There we go. So, let's wrap him up nice and gentle. Don't crush the tails. It's a pity we don't have the freezer as well as the uh, fridge, but. We'll just pop him up gently up the back there. Actually, he can go deeper. Yeah, so what I need to do is get like a bit of ply or even just some core flute that can go over this back section. So when I fold it out to do cooking, it's just got like a, a proper bench space. And then I don't have to worry about getting stuff on the carpet, especially if I'm gonna fill it on here. But yeah, look, it's, yeah, we're figuring it out as we go. It's always better not to burst the gut cavity in Spangled Emperors. They're pretty stinky, just like a lot of other demersals. They, you know, they feed on a lot of, uh, a lot of, you know, bottom feeding, crabby stuff and anything that sort of floats their way. So they tend to be pretty stinky if you burst the gut cavity or if you leave them for too long without being filleted. You can see. Okay, so that's what we want. That's all ribs there. You can hear it. So we're not wasting much. Pop this fill it down. Move on to the next one. Hey, that rain is starting to set in. I've got to hurry up. Doing the quick, the quick version. I don't really film, and I'm just getting it done. <laughs> Okay. 
so I've just cut that center bone line out but um, yeah no. just worried it's gonna start pouring with rain unfortunately there we go so that's all skin put that down there Look at that parcel. That's a parcel of goodness right there. Get a bit of angle and a bit of surface area. You know what, let's go even a bit smaller because the smaller they are, the more coating and the more crispy coating we'll get. Doesn't look it, but it's actually raining quite heavy. Luckily, I'm actually underneath this uh, little roofy bit here. So the Discovery does do a few things that work really well actually, things like that. Let's just throw all of these in and coat them. Ooh, that egg's nice and deep coloured isn't it? I think they're farm eggs, local farm eggs. They look great. <laughs> that looks really good. Oh, look at that. Okay, let's call it. Let's get these guys in. And we'll get out of the rain and then we'll finish it all in the car by lots of things. <laughs> Everything's getting wet and soggy. Uh. Well, yeah. An awning, even a gazebo, anything would have been better, I guess, than not having it. I kind of thought I could sneak in and get it done without it, but apparently not so here we go obviously this is uh, all pretty um, rust and not quite how I'd planned it but um in the end I think we're gonna end up with some pretty delicious wraps still probably would have liked to have heated up the wraps but because they're so fresh it won't really matter so we've got them here maybe we'll cut up a little bit of coleslaw just some mayo coleslaw and chilies and I think we'll call that done start with two and then we'll pretend that we're only going to eat two and then we'll get another one or two out okay. Okay. I think we're ready to make some wraps Coriander would have been perfect, but we don't have it, so we'll have to get over that. Fold up the bottom. <laughs> yeah, heated wraps would have been better, and we could even just press them down, but these wraps are so fresh and delicious that it won't matter. That still looks pretty good, even though it's really wet and gross out there. <laughs> try some shall we well that's pretty delicious and uh, I'm not upset I'm a bit bummed about the rain but we can live with that I've got the car started now and the aircon going so it's uh, drying out in here the rain does look like it's slowing a little bit but yeah not enough to open the door yet <laughs>
All right. Well, I'm going to finish this. Hopefully, I've got something to show. I don't know how that all went down in the end. It was pretty crazy towards the end there, that cook-up. I'm going to finish my wrap, and I'll catch you on day two, which is actually day three. But, um, yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, see ya. <laughs>